Hello, this is Freddie Scott, and today we're going to be talking about Jesus as our confident hope. And we're going to be reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, which reads, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. What I love about this passage is that it reveals not only what Jesus is doing right now, but also what Jesus is planning to do in our future. Right now, Jesus is creating a custom room for each and every one of us, fit for a king or queen, something that he knows will put a smile on our face and something that we'll enjoy for eternity. But in addition to that, Jesus also challenges us. He says, believe in God, believe also in Jesus. If you believe in God, believe also that what Jesus has done, if we believe that God so loved the world that he sent Jesus, then we should also believe that Jesus, the one that God sent, not only is preparing a place for us, but is also preparing to be reunited with us and is coming again, that where he is, we may be also. Just as important as the cross is for our faith is his return to our faith. Jesus has not been gone just sitting at the right hand of God. He has been sitting and praying and interceding, but he has also been preparing for us to be reunited. Let's have a confident hope that what Jesus has done and is doing is something that is worth the wait.